Good morning, good morning. Ruth Harper, good morning. Connie Willis, Billy Perkins, good morning. Deborah Fuller, J.D. Fuller, good morning. Ronald Liddell, good morning. Tony Liddell, good morning. Jackie and Eli Banks, good morning. Dawson McLean, good morning. Buddy Man London Black, good morning. Angela T. Stanford, good morning. Yeah, hallelujah anyhow. That's right. Patricia Jenkins, good morning. Hallelujah anyhow. Don't let your troubles get you down. Say them blocks your way. We're going to stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Howard, good morning to you. J.D. Fuller, good morning. Charlize Hicks, good morning. Sandra Brown Cooper, good morning to you. Lord bless you today. Hallelujah, anyhow. Yeah, absolutely. I got a little pep in me today. Thank God. Hallelujah. Kim Dean Close, good morning to you. Hallelujah. Lottie Turner, Belton, good morning to you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on Hallelujah Anyhow Friday. Judy Norfleet, good morning. <laughs> Lord knows I tried him and he's all right. Yes, indeed. Shelly Curry, good morning to you. God bless you. Jennifer Newsom, good morning to you. I pray that your procedure went well yesterday. Amen. Stacey Simmons, good morning to you. God bless you. So good morning to everyone, and we give God praise again for another day, amen, that he has made, amen. We are, de are determined to rejoice and be glad in it. God has blessed us. He has kept us. He has washed us, amen. He has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Uh, that means that if we, if we do, if we uh, commit some act of unrighteousness, listen, it's not God's fault that we committed it because he has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. Jennifer Newsom said, good morning. Happy, happy hallelujah. Anyhow, Friday to everyone. Thank you all for your prayers. All right. 
So we're, we're grateful that you had a successful procedure on yesterday. Uh, the Lord be praised. Amen. The Lord be praised. Thank God for that. Amen. God is so good. God is faithful. Amen. It is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he will certainly uh, do for you. Amen. God is a good God. And yes, I'm much better, much better. I'm about, I'm about 75%, 75 to 80%. Amen. And I'm grateful for that. I remember I was telling you I was around 15% better a few days ago, but I'm about 75% better now. Amen. Still have some soreness. Um, but hey, I'll take that any day based on what I felt a, a few days ago. Amen. 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 So we're grateful. Good morning. Um, Sister Andy Sessoms, God bless you. And Jennifer says, yes, my procedure went well. Thank God. Amen. We're grateful for that. We're grateful uh, that God uh, has blessed you and has uh, raised you up. Amen. One more time. God is faithful. God is faithful. And therefore, we're going to continue to bless his name. Yes, ma'am. Um, and you know how it is when you are in severe pain. Listen, you don't you look, look, it hurts you to use your vocal cords, right? When you in pain, it hurts you to use your vocal cords because when you talk, amen, any part of your abdomen area, amen, is going to hurt. And, uh, and so that's why I was talking so low and so soft. I wasn't trying to use inflection in my voice, uh, any of that a few days ago. Uh, but thanks be unto God. And it's, it's amazing, um, you know, what God put in motion concerning the human body and how the human body can heal and repair itself. God did that. Amen. God did that. Hallelujah. I said God did that. God put that in motion. Amen. That the human body is able to to repair itself for the most part. Amen. God is good. And we're grateful. We're grateful. Good morning, Tawanda Perry. God bless you on today. Thank God for you. Uh, Deborah says, as the song goes, his goodness keep running after us. Amen. 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 Um, there was a song we used to sing. Uh, uh, um, well, and look. Uh, uh, just as much as he chased after us, run after us, his goodness. And guess what? We ought to be chasing after him. I remember that's a song we used to sing a few years ago, a couple years ago. I'm chasing after you no matter what I've got to do because I need you more and more. Amen. Amen. I'm praising my way through. Amen. No matter what I have to do. Amen. Because God is so good uh, to all of us. Amen. Ruth Harper says, thank God my sister Deneen is okay. She was in an accident on last night. Lord have mercy. Amen. But she was not hurt. Praise God. Thank God for that. She was on, she was on with us yesterday, wasn't she? And um, look, that's a part of life, right? Life happens. Uh, no matter, things can be going well in your life. And then all of a sudden, life is life and life starts lifing if you will. Amen. Listen, trouble happens to Christians. Trouble happens to non-Christians. Good things happen to Christians. Good things happen to non-Christians. In other words, the Lord reign on the just as well as the unjust. Life happens, my brothers and sisters, and it, 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 it has nothing to do with God. You know, it has nothing to do with God and sometimes it don't have nothing to do with the devil. Life just happens. Amen. Life just happens. And we are a part of life. Amen. And so uh, life events are going to come our way. But thanks be to God, we serve a supernatural God who can work things out for our good. Amen. Listen, I was concerned. Um, somebody sent me a, a clip of Donnie Swagger, Jimmy Swagger's son you know, uh, trying to reprimand the black church. Trying to reprimand 
the black church. Hey, Sister Lois Diggs. And for you all that don't know Donnie Swagger, that's Jimmy Swagger. Y'all remember Jimmy Swagger? Uh, that's Jimmy Swagger's son. And we know the history of Jimmy Swagger. Jimmy Swagger was one of the um, uh, one of the uh, top TV evangelists back in the 80s and the 90s. You know, um, and I used to watch him. You know, I used to get caught up in what Jimmy Swaggart was saying. Um, and some of the stuff I used to agree with because I didn't know no better as a Christian coming up. I didn't know no better until I found out the word of God for myself. Uh, good morning, Sister Van. And even how Jimmy Swaggart preached a white theology gospel. Amen. A white European the theology gospel. But what I want to say is this. And one thing that Donna Swaggart should understand. First of all, he was dogging out uh, the head bishop of the Church of God in Christ, uh, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, telling him, uh, uh, reprimanding him uh, because he, um, he, he recommended, he said that he was going to vote for Kamala Harris. And so he's going to reprimand. First thing come out of his mouth, right? Hey, good morning, Sister Charmaine Delaware. It's your sister, Danita Taylor. Um, first thing the white man says, somebody's going to call me racist, but I'm going to say it. Look, when a white man says somebody's going to call me racist, and I'm going to say it, look, prepare yourself. He's going to show himself to be a racist because he already knows what he's saying is racist. So that's why he, he says what he said. And so he's going to try to reprimand Bishop J. Drew Sheard, uh, the, the, the head bishop of the Church of God in Christ, because he endorsed Kamala Harris. And he said that he was wrong, that he supported, uh, that, 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 they, that uh, Bishop Sheard supported uh, murder because of abortion. He supported all kinds of wickedness. He supported homosexuality. He supported all kinds of unrighteousness. Now, this is the same man. This is the same man whose daddy was caught a few times with prostitutes in motels. And he going to tell us, Jimmy Swagger going to tell us that he never touched the prostitutes. He just sat there in the, in the hotel room and, and looked at them. That's just like Bill Clinton saying, yeah, I, uh, I smoked. I smoked marijuana, but I didn't inhale it. Who do you think we fool, you fooling? Many of us may have been born at night, but we weren't born last night, right? Amen. And so listen, and I'm not and I'm not dogging out Jimmy Swagger because all of us got some got some demons. Amen. All of us got some mess in our closet. All of us deal with some stuff. Amen. But how are you going to dog out and tell somebody that they're not Christian? And and furthermore, furthermore, his denomination their denomination that they was a part of, the Assemblies of God, kicked them out. Kicked Jimmy Swaggart out. All right? The Assemblies of God. And can I tell you something else about the Assemblies of God? The Assemblies of God at one time was a part of the Church of God in Christ. But because uh, a, a, a black man was the bishop of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Harris, Bishop uh, 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 Mason, C.H. Mason, Charles Harrison Mason, because he was the bishop, there were some white men in the South, amen, who was pastors of the Assemblies of God, did not want to be a part of the churches of God in Christ anymore. And so they pulled out because they supported slavery just like the Southern Baptist uh, Convention did. They pulled out. And started their own, um, their own denomination called the Assemblies of God. 
That's how the assemblies of God was birthed. They were birthed out of, amen, the churches of God in Christ. Amen. And listen, here's another thing that Donna should know. Donna should know that there would not be such a thing called the black church if it wasn't for his, his ancestors, amen, believing in slavery. If it wasn't for his uh, a white church believing in segregation, if it wasn't for his white ancestors believing in uh, Jim Crow, amen. And so they can have several seats. How dare you try to give, try to reprimand the black church, amen. And that's why, my brothers and sisters, we ought to we ought to thank God for the black church, because because listen, if it wasn't for the black church, listen, there would not have been a a civil rights movement. If it wasn't for the black church, black folk would not have been informed of what is going on in the world. Amen. And I know even some of my members they get upset with me when I talk about uh, politics. Amen. But you better, but you better know what's going on. You better know the politics because politics deal with policy and policy deal with how we live on a day to day basis. Amen. And so I don't worry about that. I don't mind getting in trouble uh, uh, when I talk politics. I don't mind getting in trouble when folks say they don't want to hear that. Listen, I take some bruises. I take some bumps. Because of what somebody don't want to hear. Because they feel uncomfortable with what I'm saying. If you got, if you uncomfortable with the truth, that's not my problem. Shucks, I'm uncomfortable with the truth sometimes. Sometimes the truth hurts us. Especially when we don't want to change. Am I right about it? Amen. And so politics deal with policy. And you ought to be concerned. You ought to listen. You ought to read a book about what's going on. Amen. You ought to read it and know what's going on because there's some mess going on in our world. Amen. And so he can have several seats. And it kills me that a lot of these black folk attend these white churches. And when, and when these white pastors see these uh, 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 see all this injustice in the streets. See all these black folk being killed in the street. Amen. Amen. They ain't got nothing to say. Nothing to say. They have nothing to say to the black members uh, who are members of their church. Amen. Amen. I was talking to somebody a few weeks ago, even in our community. In Woodbridge, some black folk go to Christ Church and they don't deal with nothing uh, concerning the plight of black folks. But yet, black people keep going there. They can't serve in no, in no prominent positions in the church. They won't let them preach in the church. But they can usher. They can sing in the choir. Amen. They can, they can, they can be a greeter. Amen. But anything prominent in the church, black folk can't serve. I don't know why black people keep going to these white churches and won't be and can't be recognized. And the, and the preacher don't speak to their plight in life. Amen. Some black folks are part of the problem. Am I right about it? They're part of the problem. And we ought to thank God for the black church. We ought to thank God for folk who would tell us to get out and vote. We ought to thank God, amen, that we're not, that we're not lifting up a white Jesus. Amen, somebody. And some of us, even today, when you bow your heads and close your eyes, you, you got this image of a white Jesus that you're talking to. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to get that, get that, out of our psyche. Amen. A white man can't tell me nothing unless he acknowledge amen the travesties that his foreparents committed 
to black folk, against black folk in this country. Amen. And don't you let nobody tell you, don't you let nobody tell you that this country was founded on Christian values. That's garbage. That's straight up garbage. This country was founded on white supremacy from day one. Amen. Christopher Columbus didn't discover nothing. Christopher Columbus was lost. Lord have mercy. Natives was already here. Amen, somebody. And yes, it makes me upset when lies are told. Yes, it makes me upset when white people are going to try to put us in our place. Amen. Won't you talk about all these books you're trying to get rid of? Amen. Talk about how nasty, how filthy this man you're voting for is. Who have raped people. Who have grabbed women by their genitalia. They don't want to talk about that. Amen. They don't want to talk about not supporting a child when it's born, making sure the child has good food, nourished, have a safe space to go to school. Amen. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about gun control. They don't want to talk about that. But yet they pro-life. These folk can miss me with that mess. Amen. And yes, he is getting a handful Donnie, Donnie is getting a handful. He asked for it. He getting it. Amen. And you're right, Dawson McClain. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, good morning, Sister uh, Tara Johnson. God bless you, Kimberly Blunt. God bless you. Amen. But we need to thank God for the black church. I'm telling you. We need to thank God for the black church. It's the black church that keeps us informed. Amen. Amen. And so I take criticism from even members in my church who, who say I talk politics too much. I take that criticism. Amen. Amen. And if I get voted out for doing that, then guess what? I get voted out. Amen. But I'm going to stand for what's right. I'm going to call what's right, right. And call what's wrong, wrong. If black folk wrong, then we wrong. Amen. And we don't go along with every political point that the Democrats have. Absolutely not. Amen. We don't go along with everything. Amen. But it gets me upset when white folk gonna try to put us in our place. And that's their whole point. They want black folk to stay in their place. Lord, have mercy. He's going to tell us, going to tell us, and you following a man who is amoral. Amoral means you have no morals at all. As Kamala Harris said, listen to him. He never talks about the American people. The only time he talks about the American people is what he did to the people in Detroit. And talked about how, how nasty their city was. The only time he talked about folk is what he did, amen, to, to the folk in, in, in Baltimore a few years ago. Talked about how nasty Baltimore was. Amen. The truth is uncomfortable. The truth is uncomfortable. Somebody said to me, uh, well, I don't like it when you talk about Republicans and Democrats. Well, we got to separate the two. All right? Because it's not the Democrats that's, that's calling, that is saying that we have the uh, enemy from within. That Democrat, that liberals, amen. Uh, 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 we, we, ought to, we, ought to, we ought to send the, 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 the National Guard or the U.S. military on enemies within just because you don't agree with them, they don't agree with you. This is America. We have a right to criticize, amen, public officials. We have a right. It's in the Constitution. You have a right to criticize me. 
Just because you criticize me, that don't mean I got a right to get me a gun and shoot you down because you criticize me. But that's what Trump is saying. And Kamala Harris called out Brett Baer when she did that 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 uh, uh, question and answer with him. She was bold enough to go on Fox and do that interview, and he's gonna show the wrong sound bite. And she called him out. And guess what? He looked like an amateur when she called him out. He ain't know what to say. He gonna try to write it. He gonna try to write the wrong afterwards, but never apologize to her in her face, knowing that it was the wrong video that he was showing. He knew what he was doing. Amen. Somebody said, was that, was that, uh, 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 yeah, Dawson McClain, Bishop Clarence McClendon is another one. Amen. He, he's been a big time Republican for years. Absolutely. And that's why a lot of black folk don't listen. Don't even listen to Clarence McClendon no more. Amen. We, we, we saw his true colors on the preachers of L.A., Amen. He show his true colors. And there's a whole lot of folk. And then let me, and I'm going to get off this soapbox in a minute. But listen, quit listening to a lot of these preachers. And I'm going to tell you, this, this guy, this, this person that comes on a lot of times, uh, his name be heard, Damon Redding. Damon Redding, look, look, God has never, God will not anoint anybody, all right, to so-called call out other preachers. That's all you do. Your whole ministry is the is the call out of the preachers. You ain't got no congregation for yourself. But 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 God has anointed you to call out other preachers. Amen. God called us to preach the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the good news. Not to call out preachers every day. Amen. You got uh, Geno Jennings. Yeah, some of the stuff Geno Jennings says is true. But listen, as far as Geno Jennings is concerned, his group is the only one saying because if you're not baptized in Jesus' name, if you baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, guess what? He said you wrong. You going to hell if you if you if you baptize that way. You can only be baptized in the name of Jesus. That's crazy. That is silly. Amen. That's silly. And he he's also a Pharisee. Amen. Look how he treat the women in his church. They can't say nothing in his church. Amen. We got to stop listening to all this mess. Stop eating from everybody's table. Amen, somebody. We got to do that. We got we got to quit doing that. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm look, and I love white folks. And I got a lot of white friends. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And there have been white people that have helped me throughout my career. Have been a blessing to me. And I love them. Amen. But the majority of the white folk in this country, Lord have mercy. Amen. All right. I'm off my soapbox. Amen. Somebody must be saying, oh, pastor really feeling good now. He really. <laughs> Amen. But we got to tell the truth, right? We got to tell the truth. Amen. We got to tell the truth. We got to tell the truth. Amen. And thank God for the truth. Amen. Uh, Danita says, black were Republicans. Yes, we were. Amen. As a matter of fact, even now, blacks are, are still more conservative in nature. We are. Amen. She says, as was Lincoln, right. But after Johnson signed that civil rights bill, tell the truth, many Southern whites, Democrats, Dixiecrats, moved to the Republican Party taking their racism with them. Know your history. Amen. That's right. That's right, Sister Marin Bowden. I feel better. Amen. 
Amen. But that's the truth. Deborah Fuller says, and he shows he amoral, he's amoral, ignorant, and racist every day. So glad, amen, that Central Park Five is, 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 is suing him. Because in that debate with Kamala Harris, they asked him about it. And he still called them murderers. And and once and once they've been once they have been uh, 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 set free and found not guilty, and you come back and call them criminals, they can sue you for defamation. Absolutely, that's what those two women in Georgia did with Giuliani. They won their case against Giuliani. Giuliani came right back and kept on. You know, repeating the same lie that those two women was throwing out ballots. They caught the sound bite. They sued him again. And guess what? The judge has ordered this week that he must hand over all of his mess, all of his stuff, that apartment that he got in New York and all his valuables to these two women in the next seven days. Amen. Amen. Anything. And don't these folk know, don't they have history that anything that attaches itself, amen, to Donald Trump, you're going to end up losing out? Amen. You're going to end up losing out. Hallelujah, somebody. Look at the pillow. Look at the pillow guy. Had to file bankruptcy. Amen. Look at all those folk, those lawyers that the that the that the DA in Georgia filed charge that Rico racketeering charge against. All of them are, are, are taking plea deals. All of them will lose their license. All of them will be disbarred. Attach yourself to Trump if you want to. Lord have mercy. That, that's right, Deborah Fuller. Joyce Myers ain't no better. Joyce Myers ain't no better. Kenneth Copeland ain't no better. Absolutely. Ben Carson's still out there. Oh yeah, and that whole scene with McDonald's. That was a whole, that was a whole prop. That McDonald's, matter of fact had a few citations, health violations with the city. And what they did was they closed it that day. They closed it and put in fake customers. That's what he does all the time. When they went to uh, Chick-fil-A, they did the same thing. Amen. Because these corporate corporations don't do these props because they don't want to see, uh, want to be as uh, 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 political. They want to be seen as apolitical. Because they want everybody's business. So this was a local, this was a local owned McDonald's. And that person who owned it supports Trump. They shut it down and put in fake customers. And then he's serving food without a hairnet. Serving food without gloves. Amen. Ben Carson still doing his thing. He's still out there. He's still out there. Lord have mercy. Listen, let me share this. Let me share this. Um, um, let me share this uh, devotional with you. Amen today. But uh, <laughs> Dawson McClain said, keep the elevator on the first floor. Tell it like it is. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Uh, Jennifer Newsom says, say so, Pastor. It's 2024. No excuse. It's not 1824 or 1924 for that matter. I know that's right. The truth will set us free, J.D. Fuller. That's right. That's right, Tawana Perry. Amen. This land, amen, belong, amen, to the Native Americans. It was stolen from them. You know, gave them, they gave them some alcohol. They introduced them to alcoholic beverage. And let me tell you, the natives have been cursed from alcohol ever since. I know that's a fact. You go to any reservation, their main problem 
is alcoholism. Till this day, you go to Alaska. You know, it's going to, you know, more natives live in Alaska than anybody else. And let me tell you, alcohol, alcoholism, amen, is the main problem. And people die from liver, from liver cancer and cirrhosis of the liver because of alcohol. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. <laughs> Butter Man Black says, Butter Man London Black says, it's Friday, pastor's on fire today. <laughs> oh yeah, he's back. Amen. The black church, as uh, Danita tells us, the black church molded the civil rights leaders and started the movement. Amen. 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 And we got to remember, right, that this Project 2025 is still out there. And that's what they want to implement. Amen. That's what they want to implement if they win. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Of course he talked about D.C. Of course. Amen. They don't want, they don't want to make D.C. a state. They don't want to do that. Amen. You saw what D.C. did to that and pizza company, right? You don't talk about Barry. You don't talk about marrying Barry in the kind of way. Amen. They made those little supposedly little dessert things called knots and had little white powder that supposed to look like cocaine or crack and they named it after Marion Barry and they told them take them off and and they found out they messed around and found out now the owner who was defiant now the CEO apologizing when black folk come together Lord have mercy the church uh, was uh, where, where, where rural blacks received state and, and national news. Many of them had no electricity uh, or, or could not read. Absolutely. Hey, Linda Majette Moore, God bless you. Hallelujah. And he shows he a more. Absolutely. 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 Yes. And, and they always cry about, you know, call out Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was a Republican. Yeah, many of us were Republicans back then. Amen. Amen. But when the civil rights came, amen, white folks left the Republican Party and went to the Democratic Party. I mean, left the, Dem you know, left the Democratic Party, I'm sorry, and went to the Republican Party. Right. And listen, and they wouldn't use the N-word no more, right? Wouldn't use the N-word. You know what the new language was? States' rights. State rights. States' rights. Amen. Pulling away from the federal government and giving more power to the states. And that's what the that's what that's what the Supreme Court did with this Roe versus Wade decision. That's what they did. They said. They're, they're, they're taking it out of federal hands and putting it into states' hands. That's a whole, that's all they want to do. And now all the southern states that control, and not just southern states, but all states that are controlled by Republican governors, Republican legislators, they have all changed, amen, their reproductive rights bills. Amen. Amen. States rights is another code name for the N-word. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's know our history, my brothers and sisters. Let's keep reading. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is Ashley? Who is Ashley Johnson, uh, Linda? Who is Ashley Johnson? Ben Carson. Ben Carson was a. Ben Carson was a. Um, you know, a, new, a neurosurgeon. Um. But we found out with Ben Carson, he wasn't as smart as we thought he was, right? All right, let me leave that alone. All right, 
Listen, Job 1 and 10 says this. Job 1 and 10 says this. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the world or throughout the land. Let me say that again. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. Hallelujah. You know, this is what the devil is saying to God. Right? He said, Lord, I could get him, but have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that uh, uh, his flock and herds are spread throughout the land. My brothers and sisters, as I walk, as I was walking around my neighborhood, and I normally do it in the mornings, right? If I don't go to the mall, I'm in my neighborhood. Amen. And I try to walk around five miles. Um, and sometimes I, I run, you know, sometimes I jog if I'm feeling good. You know. Um, so. You know, I, I, I walk in my neighborhood or sometimes I run in my neighborhood. But what I quickly found out is that. Nearly everyone in my neighborhood owns a dog. You know, during COVID, people were buying dogs left and right. Matter of fact, I thought about buying a dog. People needed something to do, and so they were buying dogs. Everybody was buying dogs when everything was shut down and COVID was going on. See, like everybody in my neighborhood has a dog but me. No matter how friendly a dog may, may be, when the animal sees someone running past its yard, it can become quite uh, imitating, or I'm sorry, intimidating, if you will. Amen. To say the least, as I continue to venture out, however, I soon realize that uh, my neighbors uh, with dogs, guess what? I didn't know that, but they had an electric fence. They had an electric fence. Oh, devil, devil, what are you talking about? Your husband done bought another dog. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He done bought another dog and won't nothing you can do about it. He, done, he bought another dog. <laughs> let me not let you get mad. I ain't trying to cause no confusion between you and your husband. Amen. I ain't trying to break up your happy home. Not at all. Amen. But I found out that the dog would run in the yard and I thought they would eventually chase me. But guess what? I found out that the dogs couldn't run but so far in the yard. Amen. There were, uh, 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 they had electric fences. These barriers were uh, invisible. But when the dogs tried to cross them, they received a little shock that would force them back into their yard. There were perimeters where the dogs could not cross. Thank God. Amen. Now, all I could see were, amen, the dogs. I couldn't see the perimeters. So uh, they looked quite threatening, but the dogs really couldn't hurt me because they couldn't go beyond the space they were allowed. Hallelujah. It didn't matter how loud they barked. It didn't matter how big they were. They could run around the perimeter, but that perimeter had a barrier that if they crossed it, amen, they would receive a type of shock and they would go back into the yard. All I'm trying to say, my brothers and sisters, is this. 
We have enemies in our lives who would do us harm if they could. Amen. But God has put up invisible parameters. Hallelujah. To keep them from getting to us. This hedge not only keeps the enemies out, but it also keeps us in. Amen. By helping us to know our boundaries. Am I right about it? We can say then that God's hedge of protection protects us from our enemies as well as from ourselves. Hey, good morning, Sister Benita Love. God bless you. Did you hear what I said? That God's head to protection not only protects us from our enemies, my brothers and sisters, but his head of protection will even protect us from ourselves. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful for that today, that God will protect me from myself. How many of you know that it was God that saved you from yourself? God save you from making a fool out of yourself. God save you from getting into a scandal that will become public. God save you, amen, from somebody blowing your brains out. Because you were headed to some place. You know you had no place going. God save you from yourself. I remember Bishop Noah Jones, we was at a manpower conference years ago. Amen. And, uh, and, 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 and Bishop Noel Jones, who was divorced at this time, he said he was home and this lady called him and, uh, and the lady called him to come over for a nightcap. Amen. And, uh, Bishop Noel Jones said, um, he said, now, Lord, I'm going to this woman's house. She's fine. She, 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 she's a, she's a brick house. Uh, uh, she, she whispered sweet things in my ear. And Bishop Noah Jones said, he told the Lord, he said, now, Lord, I'm going to her house. But Lord, I want you to stay here. I don't want you going with me, Lord, because I know if you go with me, you're going to talk me out of it. So he said, God, I just want you to stay here and I'm going to go over to this lady's house and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to uh, uh, have sex with her and I'll be back. But Lord, I don't want you to go with me tonight because I'm going to give in to my temptation. And so as he's going to the door, he's right there at the door and he's reaching for the knob to open up the door so he can go out and get into his car. He said, somehow, some way, he felt some arms around his waist, grabbing him around his waist and kept him from reaching. He was inches from the doorknob and something grabbed him around his waist that kept him from reaching the doorknob. He kept reaching, he kept reaching, he kept reaching, but could not touch the doorknob. He kept on reaching to the point until he got physically tired. He gave up. Called it a day. Stayed home. Hallelujah. And went to sleep. My brothers and sisters, that was the Holy Ghost keeping him from a danger that was unseen. And somebody can testify this morning that God kept you from a danger that was unseen. You don't know why you didn't go out that night, but you had plans to go out that night. You don't know why, because it was Friday and Friday, we party on Friday, but, but, but that particular Friday, amen, some reason you didn't feel like going out, but you had plans. 
Somehow you was going to meet that man. You was going to, re to meet that woman. But somehow the Holy Ghost pulled you by the waist. And you couldn't open the door. Hallelujah. The Lord saved you from yourself. Because that last piece could have been your last piece. I'm trying to keep it PG, but y'all know what I'm talking about. We all grown here today. But thanks be to God that the Lord saved you from your own destruction. Hallelujah. Thank God for the hedge of protection that not only protects you from your enemies, but it also protects you from yourself. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody had a flashback just then. Somebody had a flashback just then. Amen. Somebody just had a flashback. I remember when, God. I remember the day. I remember the hour you saved me from myself. I remember the day, I remember the hour that you saved me when my back was against the wall. I was about to lose my very life. Somebody had a flashback. That God saved you from some trauma. God saved you, amen, from being, amen, humiliated. God saved you, amen, from being violated. Hallelujah. You was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And God still saved you from yourself. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Oh God, how grateful we are to you for the invisible fence, the hedge of protection you have put around us. Thank you that it extends far enough to give us plenty of freedom. Yet, it is not so far that we end up in dangerous territory. Thank you, God, for protecting us from the enemies without and the enemies within. Thank you for keeping the dogs away. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Where do you stand today, my brothers and sisters? Are you on the Lord's side? Hallelujah. Tawanda Perry said, yep, flashback. <laughs> I know that's right. Dr. McLean said, amen. I'm a witness. Usually when I got off work, I get a couple of beers at the bootleg house. <laughs> One day, I was really tired and went home. That night, everybody in the house got arrested and were put on TV. Ain't that something? Thank God I wasn't even born again yet. Amen. God reigned on the just as well as the unjust. Amen. Thank God you didn't make the news that night. Hallelujah. I'm on the Lord's side. How about y'all? Charmaine, I'm on the Lord's side. Kim, Kim Close, I'm on the Lord's side. Lois Diggs, I'm on the Lord's side. Marion Bolden, I'm on the Lord's side. It's Hallelujah Friday. I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Tawanda, I know you on the Lord's side. Ron Liddell, I know you on the Lord's side. Dawson McLean, Andy Sesson, I know y'all on the Lord's side. Shelly Curry, I know you on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. My, my, my. But need a love, I know you on the Lord's side. Amen. Listen, I want to say to y'all, if y'all buying a house, 
If you want to buy a house, if you want to sell a house, look, look, get with Sister Bonita Love. She one of the top realtors in the area. Amen. We need to lift each other up, right? Amen. You can find her on Facebook. Amen. You can message her if you're selling or buying. Amen. Give her a call. I'm sure she'll be able to help you. Amen. Linda Majette, I hope you got a word today. God bless you, darling. Hallelujah. All right, Danita, you should be, you should be with uh, Charlize now. Y'all should be getting on each other's nerves. <laughs> Deborah Fuller, God bless you. I know you on the Lord's side. Ruth, I know you on the Lord's side. Jennifer, I know you on the Lord's side. Amen. Connor Willis, I know you on the Lord's side. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Butterman London Black, God bless you, man. I know you on the Lord's side. J.D. Fuller. Hallelujah. Billy Perkins, I know you on the Lord's side. The Lord's Howard. Yes, indeed, you on the Lord's side. Kim Blunt, you on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you today. Listen, may the Lord bless you. May God keep you. I love you today. Amen. Listen, for those who are in the area, come join us on Sunday as we celebrate Youth and Young Adult Sunday. Amen. We're looking forward. We're looking forward. Amen. Uh, uh, to amen. our very own DJ. Amen. Donald Jones Jr. is our guest speaker. Amen. He's coming from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to be a blessing to us. Amen. And uh, looking forward to him speaking to us on Sunday. Amen. I'll be there. I might be moving slow, but I'll be there. That's for sure. We're looking for a great time. And then we're going to have refreshments. Amen. Afterwards, we can go down in the fellowship hall, fellowship, talk, laugh, and talk together. Amen. Ruth Hopper, don't forget, remind me about King. I'm still happy and celebrating. Amen. That King, amen, is the student of the month. Oh, that just tickled me to death. Amen. To no end. Thank God for that. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, Lord. Listen here. I'm not a Dawson McLean. I don't think I'm even going to watch Dallas and the 49ers. I, I just, I'm, I don't think I got the heart to watch it. Because I think we're going to get massacred again. <laughs> we need to call this season a wash. Hey, we need to go and look to get a first-round draft pick. You know? That's how I feel about it. Amen. But I know we both need to win. We both in desperation of a win. For sure. God bless you, y'all. Happy, happy hallelujah in the house Friday. We'll see you Monday for another morning glory. God bless.